Volcanic eruptions, a natural phenomenon that has influenced the Earth's landscape for millions of years, are manifestations of the planet's might. While showcasing Earth's power, these events also unleash death, devastation, and economic turmoil. The impact of a volcanic eruption extends widely, involving scorching lava-consuming communities, ruining crops, and causing widespread chaos. Furthermore, the volcanic ash generated in the course of eruptions can result in respiratory challenges and disrupt air travel. So, what happens when the largest and most powerful volcanoes on the planet start to awaken from their sleep? Can humanity endure the catastrophic occurrences that might ensue? Let's find out! Among the giants in the realm of volcanoes, Mauna Loa holds a prominent position, situated on the Big Island of Hawaii. Not only is it recognized as the world's largest active volcano, but it also stands as a formidable presence, gradually ascending to an elevation of 13,681 feet. Additionally, its colossal undersea flanks extend an astounding three miles beneath sea level on the ocean floor. Mauna Loa emerges as a geological behemoth, covering half of Hawaii's Big Island and constituting nearly 85% of the combined landmass of all other Hawaiian islands. For the inhabitants of the Big Island, living in the shadow of Mauna Loa is a daily reality. The volcano boasts a lengthy history of eruptions, and its reawakening has garnered substantial media attention. Scientists estimate a 100% likelihood of Mauna Loa erupting again, with potentially catastrophic consequences. While Hawaii hosts other active volcanoes like Kilauea and Mauna Kea, only Kalaweo and Loihi have exhibited constant eruptions for decades. Mauna Loa, however, is perceived as a significant threat due to its sheer size and destructive potential. In a grim comparison, Mauna Loa could achieve in just 20 minutes what it would take a day for Kalaweo to destroy. Historical records unveil the catastrophic consequences of Mauna Loa's volcanic activities. In 1881, when Mauna Loa posed a grave threat to the city of Hilo, which was home to over 35,000 people at the time, the potential for destruction was alarming. In 1926, the fishing community of Hoapalua experienced complete annihilation by a swiftly advancing torrent of lava, towering at 50 feet. More recently, 18 years ago, scientists confronted a tense situation when an earthquake swarm beneath Mauna Loa hinted at the influx of new lava into its magma chamber. However, before the molten rock could breach the surface, half of the mountain shifted southward, creating space for fresh lava and preventing the anticipated eruption. Nevertheless, the lingering concern persists as the chamber retains an excess of magma, raising apprehensions about the possibility of a more massive eruption in the future. Mauna Loa has undergone 39 eruptions since 1832, maintaining an average frequency of approximately one eruption every six years. The most recent eruption took place in 1984, and geologists assert the inevitability of future eruptions. A particularly perilous aspect of this uncertainty lies in the inability of researchers to foresee the exact location of the next eruption, posing challenges for both timing and hazard zone planning. During Mauna Loa eruptions, rapidly advancing lava flows are commonplace, inflicting substantial harm on the island's eastern and western flanks. The capricious nature of these eruptions only heightens the danger, leaving residents and authorities in a perpetual state of vigilance. While Mauna Loa presents a significant threat to the Hawaiian Islands, there exists another geological colossus that could unleash unparalleled devastation on a global scale, the Yellowstone Supervolcano. This immense volcanic system has experienced three eruptions in the past 2.1 million years, with the most recent occurrence approximately 640,000 years ago. Grasping the sheer power of a Yellowstone super eruption proves challenging. Initial indicators would include increasingly potent earthquakes signaling the ascent of magma from beneath Yellowstone towards the surface. Upon eruption, the magma would release the Earth's lethal core into the atmosphere. Within a 40-mile radius around Yellowstone, everything would succumb to lava, an alarming spectacle that could endure for days, yet the repercussions wouldn't halt there. 
Should a Yellowstone super eruption occur, substantial areas of Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah would be buried under three feet of volcanic ash. The eruption could devastate crops, contaminate pasture land, and obliterate power cables and electrical transformers, rendering the entire grid inoperable. This scenario extends beyond the borders of the United States. It carries global implications. Computer simulations propose that the aerosols emitted during a super eruption could disperse worldwide, inducing a temperature plunge due to the poisonous cloud obstructing sunlight. Such a sudden temperature drop might persist for several days, impacting agriculture and global rainfall patterns. Tropical rainforests could wither, leading to further ecological disruptions. Super eruptions are not isolated events, they can occur on a global scale. In addition to Yellowstone and Mauna Loa, scientists have discovered evidence of at least 47 similar eruptions throughout Earth's history. The most recent of these was Taupo Volcano in New Zealand which erupted 26,000 years ago. While asteroid impacts often steal the limelight, experts in existential risk agree that super eruptions represent the most significant threat to human survival. This brings us to a chilling question. What would happen if all of the world's super eruptions were to occur simultaneously? There are approximately 12 super volcanoes on Earth, each at least seven times the size of Mount Tambora, which produced the largest recorded eruption in 1815. The potential for destruction and loss of life in such an event is staggering. If one were to endure the initial onslaught of a supervolcano eruption, a second wave of calamity would present ongoing challenges. Following such an eruption, billions of tons of volcanic ash, perilous gases, volcanic glass, and rocks would be discharged into the atmosphere. This dense ash cloud, moving at the speed of a fighter aircraft, would render proximity or inhalation exceedingly perilous. Structures would crumble, and water sources would be contaminated, rendering survival on the ground nearly impossible. Cities situated near supervolcanoes would be instantaneously obliterated. Even attempts to escape via air travel would likely prove futile, as ash clouds have a history of disrupting aviation. The repercussions of such an eruption would reverberate for years. A global volcanic winter could ensue, with the ash lingering in the atmosphere, obstructing sunlight and causing temperatures to plummet. The difference could be as significant as 15 degrees Celsius within six months. Beyond the immediate perils of volcanic ash and volcanic winter, supervolcanoes also emit noxious gases into the atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide is one such gas that when combined with water vapor, forms sulfuric acid in the upper atmosphere. This acid rain can yield dire consequences, as witnessed in the eruption of Iceland's Lachy volcano in 1783. The resultant acid rain damaged agriculture and led to the deaths of half of Iceland's livestock. In the famine that followed, a quarter of Iceland's population perished. Now, envision this scenario unfolding on a global scale due to multiple supervolcano eruptions. Acid rain would descend across the world, contaminating water sources, harming crops, and imposing severe health risks on both humans and animals. The enduring effects of this acid rain would exacerbate the challenges posed by supervolcano eruptions. Confronted with multiple supervolcano eruptions, civilization as we know it would face severe trials. The destruction of infrastructure, contamination of water supplies, and disruption of agriculture would precipitate widespread societal collapse. The global economy would crumble, and basic necessities such as food and clean water would become scarce. Moreover, the havoc wrought by supervolcanoes would be intensified by ensuing chaos, including civil unrest and mass migration as people grapple to survive in an increasingly inhospitable environment. The collapse of power grids and communication networks would further isolate communities, complicating the coordination of relief efforts. What do you think of this? Do you think all supervolcanoes or at least a few could erupt at the same time and cause devastation around the world? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.